Some other acupressure points that can be helpful during the follicular phase You don't have to actually feel the ovaries. We're just going to go in the general direction of the ovaries, just the, the general area where the ovaries are. So we have the pubic bone, we have the belly button, and then we have the two hip bones. And those are our landmarks. Now with the hip bones, we're going to come in to the side and right around this area, about midway between the pubic bone and the belly button, is the general area of the ovaries. <coughs> and just provide a circular massage over this area. And this is something that you'll do yourself. You don't need anybody else to do this for you. And just provide enough pressure that it's comfortable. That's not uncomfortable. It's more, um, it's more comfortable when you do it on yourself than when somebody else is doing it to you because it's, it's a little more difficult for them to assess your own sensitivity level. And so this just increases circulation to the ovaries. Now the uterus is right in the center, a little, a little lower, right up from the pubic bone you have the urinary bladder, and then just up and behind that is the area of the uterus. And so the area of the uterus is just wide circular motions in the midline. And it's quite easy. A lot of times women especially don't pay very much attention to this part of their body. And sometimes it's, it's real sensitive to touch because it hasn't been touched. It like has a hyperactive, sympathetic, nervous system response and it will be ticklish and sensitive and uncomfortable. But the more you do this, the more you're going to reverse that scenario by increasing the circulation and lowering the sympathetic response. And the sympathetic response is that which holds back the blood flow. bilaterally, but I'm just going to show it to you on one side. First one that we're going to do is a point on the kidney meridian, and the kidney meridian governs the reproductive system, and it goes through the area of the uterus, and it's just behind the inner ankle bone and in front of the Achilles tendon. There's a little depression, a little hollow right here. And you just Massage it with your fingertip. You can do it for a couple minutes. And you, you provide enough pressure that it's not uncomfortable, but you, you feel it. And then the next point that we're going to do is on the spleen meridian. And it's about three inches up from the inner ankle bone, or about one hand breadth up from the inner ankle bone. And it's just behind the bone. And there's an area here. It, it has a strong hormonal effect. It also has an effect on the uterus. And that's one of the reasons that we encourage its use during the follicular phase, not during the luteal phase. And strong stimulation here often will be somewhat uncomfortable, especially if you have a lot of uh, uterine sensitivity or hormonal sensitivity, like if you're very hormonal. You might experience 
experience a little bit of. And same thing, it's just a circular massage. And then the last one I'm going to do is on the liver meridian. And these three meridians go directly to the uterus. They also um, have their effect on ovarian function and the whole hormonal cycle. So this one is, this liver eight, is up behind the <coughs> knee crease. So you have the knee crease here. And then you come up about an inch into this fatty area here. And you just massage this area. This has a, a good effect on increasing blood flow, stimulating the liver blood. It also has a, a nice hormonal effect. So those are the specific points during the follicular phase. Another thing that you can do is, is just to massage this whole area. Just take your hand and go from the heel up the shin. And that gets the spleen meridian, the kidney meridian, and the liver meridian. That's it.